and welcome. I'm Michelle Merchant Johnson with Love Life Coaching, and I'm here to help you be that woman of high value who attracts that high quality man who is just right for you. So today's topic is kind of an interesting one and maybe a bit thought provoking. So I want to start by saying this topic will be about how competing priorities might just be getting in the way of you meeting and attracting the right man for you. So let me start this out by sharing just a little experience that my husband shared with me back from his university days. He had this psychology professor who was a very overweight, portly gentleman. And he was very much well liked by the students, but he was really, really obese. And one day he came into class and he stood up there in front of the class and he said to the students, he said, believe it or not, being fit and in shape, being at my ideal weight and being able to wear clothes that fit me well and to feel good about myself is an incredibly high priority for me. So all of the students were quiet, listening for what comes next because the obvious thing was it certainly didn't seem like all of that was a very high priority for him. So then came part two of what he said, and he, what he said was, but eating the foods that I love, eating things that I know are not necessarily supporting my health or supporting me losing weight are a higher priority for me. Uh, being sedentary and being uh, comfortable and relaxed and used to the lifestyle that I lead is a higher priority to me than getting out there, exercising, working my muscles, and really getting into shape. So what does this potentially have to do with you or your love life? So when I talk to women, as I do quite frequently from all over the world, uh, about what they want in love and in a relationship and in a man and what they envision for themselves, women often express to me a very, very deep desire to have a loving, committed partnership relationship. And as you know, I'm here to take a stand for you to have that in your life. I'm cheering you on, I'm supporting you, I'm providing you with tools, resources, encouragement to seek that if that's what you desire. One of the things I also notice though in some of these conversations is that often women will also share with me, sometimes innocently not even meaning to, some competing priorities. So what do I mean by that? They'll share with me this deep desire that they have for love, and then they may share with me something like, I'm also afraid of losing my independence, of losing my ability to do whatever I want and to have my life more or less stay exactly as it is. Well, the truth is that being in a relationship doesn't necessarily mean you're going to lose your independence because you're going to be wise in your choice and you're not going to choose someone who wants to control you that way. That's ideally what's going to happen. Uh, but if you have a fear of that, and if you have a concern for that, that could be getting in the way of you being really open, receptive, willing to give someone a chance because the fear or this competing priority could be overriding the desire for you to have love in your life, for you to be in partnership with someone. The other piece of truth is that being in a loving, committed partnership relationship does at times cause us to change our priorities or to choose to compromise, or it does include considering someone else in the decisions that we make. And so in a certain way, it does actually change our lives. And there's a part of all of us that wants to stay in the status quo, because even if aspects of it are not ideal or uncomfortable, aspects of that are comfortable. So just like my husband's uh, former professor, who 
considered himself to have a very high priority on being lean and fit, uh, we might have a desire to have a relationship, to have love, to have partnership in our lives. And yet we may have some competing priorities or some competing fears or some things going on inside that might actually be blocking that. And the tricky part about this is sometimes these things are not really things we're aware of on a conscious level. They're more operating on the subconscious level. And so they, they could actually be running the show without us even realizing it. It can kind of be like the hard drive in a computer. We don't actually see the hard drive, usually, unless it's taken out of the computer. We don't usually see the hard drive, but it's actually running the whole show. So what I want you to consider and what I'd invite you to ask is just are there fears, doubts, competing priorities, ideas about what a relationship might take away from you or how it might diminish you rather than, than add to your life, anything like that that might be kind of going on or operating underneath the surface. Because once we bring those things to the surface and we're aware of them, then we can be more in choice about whether or not they get to run the show anymore. So hopefully this all kind of makes sense and you can connect some of these dots and just give yourself a chance to kind of explore like if any of this is going on for you. I know as a single woman, there was a certain amount of this going on for me because I had worked very hard for my independence and for my success and for the lifestyle that I was living. And I can remember saying to one of my really dear friends saying, a man would have to be pretty darn good for me to consider making a change in my life that included him. Well, fortunately, I met that man who was absolutely worth me making some of those changes that I talked about, some of the compromises, some of the considering someone else in my decisions and changing certain aspects of my life to include a partner instead of just living life on my own. With the right person, I can guarantee that it's worth it. And I'm here to help you and support you and cheer you on and giving you tools and resources to help you meet and attract the right person for you. So for now, I'm sending you love, blessings, and cheering you on from here, and I'll see you soon. Be sure to like this video, leave a comment if you like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'll be putting out new content every week and would love to have you join me. Thank you so much. Bye-bye for now.